It's Channel 2 investigation that went viral. Why are you running? A local car dealer accused of rolling back odometers. Now, since our report aired earlier this month, more people have come forward saying they too bought vehicles with double or triple the mileage that was listed. Now we've learned state investigators were on the case. Channel 2's Andy Sirota broke the story initially. He joins us live in southwest Houston with more on what investigators have revealed. Andy. Bill, our story caught the attention of a state agency. The Texas Department of Motor Vehicles saw our story, and they now have an active investigation. Mike! This man we only knew as Mike was caught on camera telling our undercover producer he switched out the odometer on this vehicle. I mean, when I went to the junkyard, I couldn't find the accurate mileage, the one in Carfax, to install it in there. A Tombow man says Mike tried selling him two vans with rolled back mileage. There are some sketchy people out there that are selling cars. The message to those people would be that we are watching, uh, the media is watching, the public's watching, and eventually uh, you're going to be uh, dealing with law enforcement in a case like this. Since our story aired, Texas DMV investigators have been in touch with several people who they say purchased cars with rolled back miles from Mike. We discovered Mike's real name is Iyad Kassas. From this Facebook photo, a local title company posted with him. They're open for business, but the door is locked. The Employees didn't want to talk to us on camera, but told us their only relationship with Casas involves issuing vehicle titles. Texans Motors Inc., the dealership where Casas was selling cars behind a southeast side strip club, is actually only registered to sell cars in San Antonio. So we're not sure yet exactly what the operation is going on uh, on the Gulf Freeway in Houston. It is not legal by our standards because it's not a licensed location. The mailing address with the DMV for Texans Motors comes back to this Houston home, which also shows up as a residential address for Casas. Well, he wasn't home, but we're not going to stop looking for him. The Texas Department of Motor Vehicles wants to hear from you if you've been the victim of odometer fraud. They tell us the crime carries a fairly stiff penalty with up to three years behind bars. Live in Southwest Houston tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.